back in Nashville at the local show the week before the national. I honestly don't even want to be in here looking at cards today because I'm going to be looking at cards all week next week, but you know we're here. I am after only specific stuff today to fill in the case for next week. Let's see what we get. Bought this Mano last week in Dallas. My buddy Scott hit me up, but I'm a good friend, and I knew he was going to be at the Nashville show today, so I brought it to sell it to him today because he's also opening a new shop. I'm going to flip the camera around let him give the info on the shop. Sold to Scott. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. We've opened a shop in Smyrna, uh, 264 South Lowry Street. Smyrna, everything's the name. Open seven days a week. We buy, sell, trade. Uh, we've also got shoes, uh, Legos, just a mix, mainly focused on cards. First deal of the day done, but we're filming it at the end of the show. Picked up this beauty, Steph, to 1948. Other cheap, easy stuff. Shout out my buddy, Zach. Shout out to IG. Tubs.of.wax. Chillest guy in the room, baby. All day. All day. Joe, what is this? Hey, that's a banger, son. What is that's this? That's a banger. That's gold. That is a banger. I just paid full comps on that. <laughs> well, we're back in Nashville. Picked up some Brady rookies. Fourth time's the charm on this trade tie-dye with my man Joe and Andrew. Yes, sir. We're back from the zoo. Any other thoughts on the zoo, Joe? Pretty sure that you're not allowed around the monkeys anymore. You gotta stay away from the monkeys. <laughs> Particularly the male monkeys. Look at this nice, pretty, pretty, pretty lot that we just got done in Nashville. My fastest deal of the day. But who else would it be with? With me. This guy Jake right Weigel. here. Jerry Weigel, right here. Yes, sir. Deal number, number like 99 now. Yep, that's right. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you, brother. It. Okay. Nashville show is over. I was very hesitant to come in and buy today because I do not want to be super card heavy coming into the national. My mindset is that it doesn't matter. If I have a bunch of cards and I buy them well, who cares how much I have into all of them together? Because at the end of the day, if you buy well, you can sell well. So we picked up a lot today. I'm not even sure how much yet because I haven't logged all the spreadsheet, but these are the pickups that did not make it into the vlog style clips just because I didn't care, I wasn't paying attention, but two Trevor Lawrence Silver Prisms, just cheap, easy ones. A one of one Kyle Hamilton rookie ticket, 2002, the throwback. Uh, Larry Bird, flawless on card to 15. A immaculate Russell Wilson, Russell Westbrook, same player basically, 101. Uh, Kyle Pitts, immaculate 101 shield, sexy one there. Jalen Suggs Noir to 99. Larry Bird, patch auto, gold to 10. 8.5 grade, but his stuff always moves well in like the three to $400 range. And then last cheapies, nothing crazy, but this was just stuff that I bought at a good percent, so I just took the deal, got more cards for next week. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, PSA 9 rookie paper, nothing crazy there. Bo Jackson, authenticated auto. Uh, Allen Iverson, Bowman's Best, Atomic Refractor, PSA 9. And then a LeBron Bazooka, PSA 9. And then this was way cheaper than I thought it would be, but 2008 LeBron James, Tops Chrome. Or I'm sorry, regular Tops, but this is a gold foil parallel, so just a nice one there. But a lot of people always ask me, does it make more sense to come into a show with cards or come into a show with cash? To me now, really the way I look at it, it's all about who's your market, who's your target audience. If you're catering towards one, it makes more sense to be in one way. If it makes sense to another, do that. I personally like to buy a lot at a show, but I usually buy a ton, and then this is where my mindset has been going recently. If I don't have anything out in the case, then I'm just buying. But I have help next week at the National that can be selling my stuff for me. Ryan is gonna be helping me at the table and going back and forth between me and Amon. So it makes sense for me to have inventory in the case get some margin while I'm also buying so that cash flow is coming in and going out. So I have way more inventory than I want coming into the national. I had 30 grand before I got to this show and I think I added another 10 today. So we'll see if all that makes it to the show. I'll probably dwindle it down a little bit more to around like 20K of inventory, like one or two cases worth, but do what works best for you. Make sure it makes sense, but also make sure it makes money. Don't come into a show where you can't buy anything and you're working off two week old comps trying to catch up from two weeks from now. So 
We'll see you all at the National. I think I'm posting this video literally like as I'm at the National or on Tuesday, but stop by and see me. I'll make sure to have a video of how to come find me. It's gonna be a long, fun weekend. Please, if you come to my table, know how much your cards are worth. Please, if you come by to say what's up, no, I'm gonna be pretty quick to get you in and out because I'm trying to spend a lot of money at that show and I'm gonna flip a lot of cards at that show. Stop by and see me. Come by, take Profits Club shirt. And if you see me at trade night, we can hang out. Later, boys.